How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. In this video, as you just saw, we're going to be working on Rhino from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And before we get started, I just want to show a very quick clip of me actually designing. I did the whole designing process for the model. And I'll be doing a separate video, just going straight, just how I modeled it, how I designed it. I, obviously, I didn't come up with the design, but I modeled it off of reference images from the movie. Also, a Hot Toys figure as well, just looking at various images. But we're not going to be doing that in this video. In this video is just printing it, assembling it, and painting it. So, as I just said, printing it. So here it is. I'll print it out, and I got lucky, and I managed to squeeze it all into the build plate of my Elgu Saturn. So that's all there, you know, all the support. It took long as fuck to get all the supports in, man. That was really that was really hard, but eventually I got all the supports done, printed it all in one, one build plate, which is what I really wanted to do. I didn't want to print multiple times and stuff. I believe it took like 15 hours to print, so it wasn't that bad. But, but it was a big, you know, a big model to get printed, so it was a it was a pretty decent time. And also after printing it, removing all the supports, obviously it's all the boring stuff. I just did a little bit of light sanding all throughout the you know the model, making sure that it's all nice and that the paint will stick nicely. Cleaning up all little bits. There's some supports that are stuck in between all the details and all that. And man, at this stage, I was really happy how it printed out. And just seeing all the details and stuff. When I print, when I was designing it on ZBrush, I used the textures that had like the like metal sort of imprinted details on it, and it just came out so sweet. It just looked so amazing, and I was so excited to get to, get to it. And I'm starting off here with the Stunner Res Black Primer. I've mentioned this paint this is the one that I use to prime all all customs, all you know, 3D printed things. It's pretty good, pretty good primer. So yeah, I'm using it with the airbrush here. And yeah, just base coating it, getting it black, and that's, you know, step number one. If you want a really high gloss, I would recommend going with all clad gloss black. But in this case, I'm going for a, a, like a dirty, I'm going to like dirty it up and really weather it up. So I'm not going for the high gloss finish. So I was like, all right, I'll just use the normal matte Stunner Wrist Primer. And I'll go with that super shiny reflective. That's really up to you. Hey, hey. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me And now sort of contradicting what I just said I was testing out this paint, which is super highly reflective It's from the Molotov, uh, Molotov pen, it has like sort of this uh, metallic paint So I cut up the marker, removed all like the, you know, the paint that was in it testing it out but it, it came out way too reflective for my liking and also it sort of felt like it was removing part of the the brushes like part of the like, hairs of the brushes and like leaving it on the model which was which was not at all what i wanted to do so i ended up later on covering it all up with just the model color uh aluminum and when i did that it did kind of remove the high shine that it had but still it ended up for me looking a lot nicer and it, either way it was going to be more of a base coat you can see here, I'm applying that now on the body, and it does look a bit more matte. Like I said, I'm going to be weathering this up, so I don't really want that high shine. I want more of a, yeah, metallic, but sort of a, like a cast iron sort of look. And yeah, honestly, I really, I'm really glad how the details really translated well. And yeah, stay tuned for the video where I'm going to be really describing in detail how I go step by step, uh, modeling it and designing it. And also what I want to add is, uh, if you guys are interested in me turning this statue, because it's, it's obviously just going to be a sort of a statue, a model. If you guys are interested in me, seeing me turn it into like an action figure with articulation and movement. This video gets 50 likes, I'll go ahead and put in the work to go back and ZBrush, remodel it, add articulation. And I'll go ahead and do that, and we'll see how that goes. So now I just want to describe sort of what I'm doing now, which is actually, there's some panels all throughout the model where they're brown because I, I was seeing a bunch of reference images and that sort of like has like a, a two-tone look with brown what i did is basically have a base coat of just like a flat you know uh, mid-tone brown then i come around the outside edges outside borders with a darker brown mixed with like black to get that darker tone In the middle i mix it with a bit of a ivory a yellow to get a lighter tone and sort of you know sporadically like paint it all in the center to get like that nice depth and after I get all that and blend it in nicely, I come in with the silver and just do sort of that edge 
highlighting just on the nice edges and the middle has some scratches and stuff so it looks like it's like painted up metal and has sort of that i don't want to say a rusted look but a little bit you know that worn in look and it comes out really nicely overall and it just came out nice and it was really the main thing of this model after painting it, i think obviously it's all just metal so you want to really add the you know dif dif like differentiate the colors and the tones and like material sort of even if it's not clear by the reference images you have to almost have like your own idea of okay this put this part is going to be made out of plastic or, or this type of metal or a smooth metal or a rundown metal and sort of you know come up with your own ideas so that you can really add a bit more of depth to the overall design now what i'm adding here is actually i mix up some black paint with water to do a nice wash and overall that's the main thing to really get that nice weathering look so uh, and each part was different so here i just sort of applied it and then quickly brushed it off with a, 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 a like fiber cloth and then later on what i would do is like like leave it on leave on the wash for like an extended period of time and then later come on come off come on with the cloth and just brush it all off so it really depends on what i was going for if i was going for like a lightly weathered or a heavy weathering look and just really testing things out and experimenting and overall it was just repeating this process over and over again throughout the entire model so like i said the brown doing the blacked out border the center with a bit more of a yellow tone and overall the like nice edge highlighting with the uh with the silver to get that nice sort of scratched up and dinged up look and then with the washes too and all the silver bits and then i really added like uh some parts added a, like a blue wash to get like a more of a colder looking metal tone and then some of them i get with like a little bit of a yellow to get really just you know switch up the colors and make it a little bit more interesting because you if i just painted this silver it would have looked you know if i just kept like the mirror like the clear the super uh glossy metallic look that i had earlier all throughout it would have not looked as interesting not have that nice depth and you know that worn in look so i was gonna do what i was going for and honestly i think it came out spectacular and i'm super impressed with the final result Another thing that I would do after finishing the wash on all the silver bits, I'll come back with silver and then adding those edge highlighting all around, even the silver bits too. So like, yeah, I already, you know, did a base coat of silver with the wash and come back again with the silver just to get that nice sort of super bright highlights. Now what I'm doing, I actually printed the hatch separate and then added pieces of clear plastic to resemble the windows and glued it on to the rest of the body. And overall, that's the last thing I did to the model. So now let's get into the final review.